I'm up in the Turtle Mountains. I'm going to visit the lakeside home. I've never seen it. I saw the site before the house was here, but I'm excited to see it back in here. It's by a lake, so it's aptly named. It's the lakeside. There it is. Wow. That's really cute looking. The owners aren't here, but I came here to pick up a few items that got left over when the crew was building this house. The first thing I hear is Canadian geese honking. And my first impression is really good with this, uh, this house. This looks really cute. So we'll just hop into it and do a tour. Our crew set the logs, the roof through felt, set the windows and doors, trim them all out, and install the railing. Now in the peak here, there are some angled windows that we put the frames in, but we did not order or install the windows. That will be up to the customer in this case. So that's why there's no windows in that. The owner provided the, the decking, the floor, the floor for the porch deck and the subfloor of the house. We did not do that. The lakeside model. It's really good looking. I'm going to show the lake out here. This is a beautiful grove of trees here. The original lakeside model did not have the covered porch on this side. This is a very good idea to cover that porch where the, the door comes out. They've got a full basement. It has not been backfilled yet. This also has a entry addition coming out that's different from the original lakeside, I believe. I'd have to look at the law, the uh, website, but I don't think that's got this room coming out. It's got a lot of interesting roof angles. Very pretty looking. Let's see if a door is open so I can go inside. You can see the synthetic felt on the roof, the darker ice and water on the lower portions of the roof. And the owner does not, ha not have the metal roof on yet. It's a temporary porch step. Porch railings, they're nice and tight, really strong. Well, I must say the crew did a good job. I can tell right off. The crew that put this together, the window trim, door trim looks really good. The cedar slip trim on the top there. I'm excited to go inside of this thing. Oops. Let's try a different door. The owner said it's open. I can go inside and have a look around. So let's uh, cross my fingers and hope this door will open for me. That's kind of neat to put a light right on that cedar plate. Yay, it opened. This is a nice entry mudroom. It's got its own cathedral ceiling. Vaulted, angled roof going up. Let's hope this door is unlocked. Yay. Good job on the door, door install. It looks really good. Wow. This is really amazing. I love this room. I 
I like the door choices. I like the window choices. That's a stairway going down. Temporary railings right there. So let's have a look around here. This is some can lights in the ceiling. That's our tongue and groove ceiling that we installed, that our crew installed. I believe this is the kitchen. And we put the windows in, put the trim on. Now this house sat for about six months at our yard because the building site was not ready. So the logs got a little bit of weather at a few places. It's in inevitable, there'll be some weather, but that can all be uh, cleaned off. Um, so for the most part, 95% of the package is nice and, and white and clean. I just gotta take all this in. It's just really beautiful, this prow front. I'm not a, a huge a fan of prow fronts, but I might have to change my mind because this angle looks really good. Let's explore the rooms. Now, I forget the floor plan. I can't remember what's what, but I imagine this is a master bedroom. But I don't know for sure. I can't remember what room this is. It would make a nice master bedroom. There's a bunch of wiring coming down, which will go into a frame wall, which will go up into there. Let's see how good a job the crew did on this window, I mean, on the door install. Now the building is a little bit damp from having no heat, so that door is a bit tight. So it'll dry out a little bit and be fine. Oh, I see they got the window cracked. That's good on a new house, if you don't live in it, to make sure you crack a couple windows so the air can vent out and it doesn't get too wet in here. So that's good. This is the door that wouldn't open before. It was locked. So I'm going to try that door. It works really good. Let's try a window. Okay, let's go and explore on the porch. A two inch step down. And this covered porch here is really nice. And the overhang of the roof covers the porch completely. The prow makes so that the porch becomes narrow at this point. And then out here, the porch becomes open. And then you walk underneath it, and you've got covered porch. And that's a good feature. Really smart. You can look at the lake here. You can be on the deck and look at the lake. Here we come to an open deck with no roof over it. And you walk to the right, and we're under the covered porch. This is a really nice feature, this really wide deck. Looks about 12 feet wide. Partly covered, partly open, looking onto the lake, out over the, the grove of trees, into the lake. And then I wonder if they might open up one of these railings so you can walk out onto the grass right here. That would be a smart way to go. Let's get a close-up of the Synthetic roof felt. And a close up of the fascia. They did a really good job on the fascia. That might have been Tyler. He cuts really good fascia. Good job. 
That's beautiful cedar fascia. Well, these doors are probably locked, so I'll go around the other door again. Our crew hung these doors on the inside walls. Good job on that. The trimming is very nice. I'm inspecting all the trim. Looking really good. Here we put a little shelf, just a tiny shelf. It makes it look good. A, a wide board here and a little shelf. And a little bit of a lip here. So it's very nicely done. I'm very happy with what they did on the trim looking really good really nice and the log work is excellent too I'm very happy how this turned out so let's check this out maybe this is the master bedroom I can't remember Very beautiful room. This is just really nice. Now I know I'll have to come back later when this house is finished and get some really good video of it completed. It's just really beautiful. Well, that's about all there is to show because it's not finished. You guys get the idea, but I can't quit looking at this room it's really beautiful really spacious and as you noticed in my video here every room of the house every room has a tall peak all the way up so it's 100 percent cathedral 100 percent vaulted every room goes up and it's quite tall and yeah don't worry those black spots will sand out with cleaner and sanding but it's a good idea to order your log house and then try to get it up as soon as possible um, if it sits in our yard too long we can't guarantee it to be completely covered there's a weather wrap over all the bundles but some of the ends stick out some of it's hard to completely cover then i get a, a, a darkened spot like that on the wall it can all be sanded out but it's better to build the house soon after we build it at our uh, facility but good job on the guys building this. <clears throat> I'm very happy with the quality of what I see in the roof system and the trimming of the doors, windows. The outlet holes are done very precisely. That's where a switch will go in. There's a hole in there for the wiring. And that joins this hole in there that goes down through the floor for outlets. You'll notice throughout the house there are outlets cut. And this is done at our facility. It's done when the this log is in kit for uh, the house is in kit form and is being built at our site. So all along the bottom there are outlets that have yet to be uh, installed. Now there is an interesting one. That's because there's an outlet on the outside at the porch and one on the inside and the wire goes down that hole. And then that will be foam shut once the wire is in there. There's an outlet cut out. And here are some switches with wires coming down. I mean, switch, the switches aren't there yet, but they will be connected to these wires that go up through the, the, yeah, the logs and into these lights coming down from the ceiling and fans at the peak will be connected to those wires coming off the peak. Then right below it is an outlet. So that's how we do that. All right, let's walk outside. This is looking fantastic. There's another outlet that's in the mud room and in the main room connected to the same hole.
This wasn't locked, so I'm not going to lock it. Don't worry, nobody will find this house because I'm not, I'm not going to say where it's at. Not the exact location, at least. It's in the Turtle Mountains of North Dakota. But other than that, that's all the information you will get. And that was a nice little tour. Can't wait to see the finished house. Later on, another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.